Hello traders and welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at PayFX. I hope you all had a great trading week last week. Even though it is wild and crazy, uh, one need to be uh, very uh, careful about the risk involved and your money management because uh, it is a very volatile uh, market out there, especially in the stocks and commodities. So uh, be careful. Um, the same will uh, maybe continue next week as well. We will uh, do the usual and look at all the majors, including gold and oil. And uh, yeah, guys, while I roll the intro and disclaimer, hit that like button for me. And if you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe. See you there. Welcome back guys, a quick look at the calendar and uh, as you see not much major uh, impact events on the calendar for the upcoming week. Um, the most important event will be on Thursday to see if uh, the ECB will do as the rest of the uh, central banks and uh, do a rate cut or um, do start some QE or something like that because uh, that is the main uh, things uh, ongoing right now. It seems like at the start the Fed uh, did not, uh, the Fed um, did a cut um, alone and um, everyone was talking about the ECB to join but I mean <laughs> the ECB is already uh, very very low uh, rates and uh, there is not much room for them to do anything else so uh, the question is uh, what they will do in this next meeting uh, is there any QE talk any tilt rows to restart that and make it a little bit uh, even bigger than uh, the previous uh, the balance sheet uh, for the ECB is already very very big and huge so it is a really dilemma for the ECB and it's going to be pretty interesting to see what they have to say on uh, Thursday. That is uh, some, uh, something to keep an eye at. Um, also a very important uh, event that happened during the, the, um, the weekend uh, that the Saudi starts all out, uh, all out oil war by um, slashing uh, oil prices. Uh, Aramco talking about slashing oil prices uh, with... Um, ten dollars or so and um, to um, start um, producing even more oil instead of a cut because of the failure of the OPEC plus uh, agreement especially with the Russian so it is uh, really a all-out uh, um, oil war out there now between Saudis and Russian Saudis trying to get back some market shares now by doing so and uh, they know that uh, this is not a good way to go. Uh, historically this has been happened and it did hurt uh, Saudi Arabia a lot. But here they are again trying to do the same. So um, expect um, continuation in uh, oil prices uh, to the downside. Um, we will take a look at the oil but first let's take a look at the Dixie and we are on the weekly chart and as you see mm -hmm. Uh, one of the biggest drop in a very long time uh, for the weekly candle on the Dixie. You need to go back, uh, as I said, very long time to see such a big um, one week candle here. So it was um, <coughs> a strong uh, continuation, bearish continuation. And the main reason is that the dollar is not um, acting as a safe haven uh, at the moment, because if we look at the the uh, the U.S. government bond uh, ten years yield. You see that it it it, it closed the week at point seventy uh, seventy six point uh, seven. So, <laughs> looking at the monthly chart on this one, uh, you see how how low it is right now, and um, all time low uh, last uh, week, and uh, the monthly chart is, is really scary. What's uh, the main thing here? Yes, that's it. that means that the market is. Pricing in another 50% cut and even um, expecting the, the, the Fed to uh, go all the way down to zero um, till uh, June uh, this year, uh, that the cut's going to be on zero. And also there is talks about uh, to uh, restart the QE program. So that's why the dollar is not interesting right now. If if the government uh, bonds 10 years yield are so low, um, 
why would anyone buy uh, government bonds uh, at the moment? So that's uh, one of the main reasons for uh, the dollar weakness and of course the, the rate cut from the Fed and that the market is pricing in even more cuts. So uh, the dollar is um, having uh, troubles at the moment and on the weekly chart here we see that we have uh, last month there was this failure to close higher and uh, it ended up to be an inverted head and shoulder and this month so far we trading uh, below um, uh, the swing low from uh, the monthly chart here uh, back in um, December 2019 weekly chart as I said <coughs> one of the biggest drops uh, in, in the dollar in a very uh, long time to find something like that uh, the price did reach the 200 moving average on the weekly and uh, we tested this uh, previous uh, swing low there was no close below that though as you see we got a little bit of a bounce could be profit taking as well um, to give that uh, bounce but um, this is a very very important level for the dollar if you look on the daily time frame we look left we see that this area been tested uh, as you see here with my arrows on this chart it been tested many times as um, strong support so <clears throat> this is gonna be uh, very very important to keep an eye at for next week because any break below that could, su uh, could suggest a continuation back toward 95 95 and maybe even lower now uh, is this a extended move yes it is uh, as you see it is almost one direction direction only with very very few correction we had a small one here we had another little one here on the daily time frame but as you see um, it is a huge drop and a very fast one and um, <coughs> it seems like the market uh, may price in even more and um, if we keep seeing this same sentiment uh, nothing will stop uh, this from keep moving uh, even lower if we go down to the four hour time frame we see that we had these uh, shallow correction and that is uh, the main uh, scenarios for next week as well if we do not see a uh, strong push from this uh, key support level where the price is testing right now this area here uh, is an important support level and uh, if there is no uh, um, strong uh, bullish uh, reversal here we may see yet another one of these or uh, these shallow corrections something like this and if we break below that level uh, we may see even more downside on the dollar but as for now see this as a possible support area once again it's been tested many times so um, if to expect something uh, uh, some kind of correction back toward this uh, area of interest here where we have uh, the yearly pivot of uh, 2020 and monthly S1 up here at this level. This could be a good area for a retest and maybe then a, um, another bounce to the downside. So first off, see this as a possible support, but if broken, we are doomed for more downside uh, on the uh, on the dollar. For oil, as I said uh, previously uh, in my previous overviews, um, guys, that if we see any break below this area, we're going to move very fast toward uh, 42.50 and that is done right now. We had on Friday one of the biggest uh, drop in oil prices in the almost uh, in the history of oil. It was a huge drop, as you see here, if we look at the, the, uh, the size of this uh, candle. Um, let me measure that for you uh, if we put it like this almost 11 percent down in one day uh, and that is huge so if you look at the weekly time frame we see that the weekly closed below um, the last line of defense which was this area here we know that this is a major support level now that got broken and with that news event um, that came out uh, during the weekend from the saudis expect a continuation and uh, yeah what will happen what, what is the next major support level well that is at around 30 29 area down here the last time we tested this level was uh, back in 2016 and that was around the um, uh, 26 uh, dollar at as uh, lowest price so again <clears throat> any continuation below this if you look left here there is not much support here there is some small swings but 
it may continue with an even deeper correction uh, sorry deeper continuation here based on uh, this uh, price uh, war that um, uh, Saudis are just talking about and if they start uh, producing even more oil think about it we do not have much of demand right now already so that started the first move to the downside and um, you produce even more and you say that you're going to lower the prices even more so <laughs> this mean one thing and one thing only uh, another a continuation to the downside so keep selling rallies on oil for now especially that we uh, broke this support level any um, kind of flag or um, retest of previous lows that could signal could be a good area for more downside gold very very volatile last week um, it was um, or the, the last couple of weeks as you see uh, last week we closed um, much much higher than the previous one and if we look at the daily time frame we had um, the previous week we had this uh, very strong drop in the gold prices and there is lots of talk about um, repo market failure and the banks uh, needed those uh, uh, cash so they start selling gold there is uh, other talking about countries selling gold uh, and so on I'm not sh really sure about the reason what we do really know that when you uh, make such a huge move to the downside and you correct all that back in a couple of days this showing a strength uh, this showing that uh, gold is still a um, good safe haven in such market condition as the the stock market still in a huge trouble at the moment and uh, such a correction showing that uh, we may uh, keep pushing higher so if we look again on the weekly time frame uh, we are trading in these areas here uh, with uh, some uh, swing uh, small swings and um, next major level with a bigger swings or uh, a level that been tested um, at least um, those th the last three times here is uh, uh, the uh, 1800 area as a next uh, possible market objective so um, a weekly close like this signal uh, that there is still um, uh, bullish strength and we may see a continuation now um, as far as this uh, level uh, is holding um, especially the uh, 1550 that is the key support area and um, above that the 1610 in my opinion so keep buying the dips on the uh, on gold the question is where to buy the next dip um, and um, do we buy here at these highs I don't think so we have a um, uh, potentially a double top here and we probably have um, a new range to play here for a while uh, before um, a breakout so in my opinion the first level or the first range could be uh, this one at around uh, 1610 as a possible support so any retest toward that area that could be a good level to uh, look for a potential continuation on uh, gold okay so <coughs> try to keep buying the dips uh, i will use the 200 moving average on the four hour as my filter as far as the, the market is trading above that that could be also a good um, a good area to buy at any retest to that 200 moving average could be a good buy euro usd um, very very strong as you see a huge v-shaped formation here uh, it closed uh, above uh, previous week swing high uh, moving very strongly to the upside until uh, friday when we uh, reach it um, <coughs> all the way tested these areas down here we start seeing some um, some rejection back down the question is after such a huge move if this was only profit taking or is it a signal for probably a bigger correction to the downside all in all uh, euro is uh, bullish uh, at least short term right now and uh, we uh, should uh, keep looking um, for signal if this will uh, keep be a strong market uh, we have a 
daily close above the 200 moving average here it is a clear uh, break retest a couple of days tested that and continuation breaking above this previous high so in my opinion now the um, 1.12 uh, is a key structure level as a possible uh, uh, support area to watch for next week so um, look for this correction uh, uh, until 11-12 um, if that is um, a good area of support and show a bullish evidence we may look for another bounce to the upside um, <clears throat> if that 1.12 got broken strongly then we may see a continuation back down toward uh, these areas to retest this uh, structure level as well uh, keep in mind that uh, it's also based on what will uh, the ECB do and what they will say in the press conference that is um, the main catalyst for uh, this market if they will also do something aggressive as the Fed or not is a um, very very important thing to see next week on how to trade uh, this market sterling also very strong against the dollar um, it's it, it is more about uh, the dollar weakness than uh, the strengths of the sterling actually and um, again uh, the sterling is back above uh, 1.300 which was a key structure level uh, it also closed above uh, this uh, previous uh, swing high and if we look on the weekly time frame um, a very strong uh, bullish engulfing candle it is still a market that uh, is making lower lows and lower highs for now and um, again a close on the daily above uh, this structure could signal um, possibly uh, some more upside on this market there is still potentially uh, some more to the upside <coughs> and on the four hour time frame we see that we have a break above this uh, previous high as well but testing right now uh, another uh, key area that you see as you see here so um, this uh, last line of defense is up here uh, around this area and may give you a little bit of uh, trouble and uh, I'm I will keep following this trend line actually as far as this trend line holding as support um, it is uh, working nicely as uh, an area to buy at but keep in mind that when we uh, start testing these levels up here we may start seeing some uh, trouble uh, for the bulls and um, maybe a correction back down 1.300 gonna be a key support level now and as far as above it it is a good buy unless you see it broken then we are moving back down toward yearly pivot point down here at around this uh, previous uh, structure level that is also another key area to watch as a possible trouble for uh, the bears if this move uh, to happen so any break below uh, 1.300 and below the trend line could signal a deeper correction it is also needed uh, some correction as you see it is also um, a strong push to the upside in one direction only uh, a break above this high here will signal a continuation to the upside also to watch it if uh, we will keep seeing this dollar weakness then um, this will not be a big issue to break above this structure usd jappy also uh, very very bearish um, moved also very fast and that is um, not, nothing strange about that with uh, the the magnitude of the the, uh, the the move to the downside in the stocks and the uh, government uh, 10 years uh, yield uh, in the us um, one could expect uh, this uh, strong uh, bearish move but now 105 is a key support level here is where you're gonna see the real fight uh, actually um, uh, there is also talks about the uh, potential BOG uh, um, trying to uh, prevent the break below 105 as well but if that would be the case and you see a break below that uh, previous low below this area down here then the next target is uh, the 100 and that would be um, the first time we visit, we visit that, that area since uh, 
September uh, 2016, just before the uh, Trump election, when we start seeing this strong move to the upside. So 105 is key structure now. Keep an eye on that level as a possible uh, level for the bulls to defend at least back up to 106.65 for a retest of this broken structure to then maybe um, move lower okay um, that's it for this market New Zealand USD also coming from uh, a good support level here looking left there is not much uh, below this structure so this was really the last line of defense uh, as you see um, it is a key structure level multi uh, month multi year support area and uh, the weekly candle was a strong one i still consider uh, new zealand to have issues though but short term we may see a continuation to the upside now when we uh, see uh, that this wasn't only a retest of this structure and uh, the price uh, kept pushing higher uh, all in all uh, in my opinion if this market managed to reach to monthly r1 uh, and this previous structure level that is a good area to uh, sell at at the moment there is i still have some um, room to move as well uh, it is above the 50 so uh, potentially there is uh, some room more to the upside before a uh, continuation lower but if you look at the four hour time frame this whole move here wasn't a very strong one as you see it was going slowly slowly uh, to the upside in a bad slope until last friday when we've got this um, strong break to the upside above the structure right now making a flag so um, if this uh, flag if we could following this flag and you see a break out of it then there is a potential target at around monthly r1 before you start seeing uh, the reversal to the downside USD chief also let's take a look on the weekly on this one you see that we uh, broke major levels many major levels actually last week so we uh, broke below this level we broke below this support we broke below these levels and uh, the last um, the next uh, market objective could be uh, this week down here uh, as also a possible uh, target before we start getting to a very very choppy area that is hard to define a good structure at because if we look beyond this area we start looking at uh, these levels the body of these candles are also almost at the same level of the wick so let's put it down here somewhere down here as you see so um, beyond that we start seeing the this um, the crash uh, back in um, January 2015 and uh, these lows down here so um, weekly time frame a strong break usually signal a possible continuation but again i would like to see some correction uh, first before any continuation uh, on this one um, it is uh, extremely extended and oversold so uh, the question is will it keep just pushing uh, to the downside to reach this low or we're gonna have some kind of correction um, i would love to see some correction higher at least toward monthly s1 before any continuation to the downside so it is sell rallies but the question is how would those correction be as you see we have very very shallow corrections uh, each and every time and then it kept pushing uh, strongly to the downside usd cad the cad is the only one that is not um, performing well against the us dollar because of that uh, huge drop in uh, the oil prices and since we are expecting even more drops uh, drop in oil prices i think usd cad um, will uh, keep being uh, bullish um, especially that the uh, um, uh, the central bank of canada will keep uh, mimicking what the fed is doing so the fed cut 50 cut uh, uh, the uh, canadian central bank cut on also 50 and that would be the same scenario if the fed would cut uh, another 50 so they are mimicking the same moves what the what the uh, the different them will be in those oil oil prices and as you see despite a very weak uh, dixie um, usd cad is still performing well and what if the dixie to start making some correction so 
if we take a look at the Dixie, what if the Dixie now start to make some uh, correction from uh, this uh, key support level and oil prices keep pushing to the downside, that would mean a uh, even stronger push to the upside on USD CAD. So I'm still uh, I will uh, be bullish uh, on the on the Canadian dollar. Keep an eye on the monthly pivot point at this level or. Uh, down here as this support area that is also a possible um, level of interest for the bull so buy the dips on uh, USD CAD uh, either at monthly pivot point or down here at this uh, retest of previously broken structure is the main uh, scenario Aussie USD also uh, moving to the upside um, I don't think Aussie should be very strong um, especially in such a market conditions um, risk off and uh, anything that uh, hurt China will hurt the Australian dollar um, so what I'm uh, looking at is what how the market will react when we reach this uh, previously broken structure so this level is where I'm looking for a possible or potential uh, sell on the uh, Aussie USD so keep an eye on this level especially again if we start seeing the Dixie making a little bit of a correction to the upside this area here gonna be very interesting to see if we're gonna get another uh, uh, reversal to the downside on uh, this one so look for bearish evidence at this area so uh, yeah guys that was it for today uh, thanks a lot um, if you uh, um, still want even more chart uh, on daily basis um, videos like this about all the markets including uh, uh, stocks um, Dow um, DAX uh, and the FTSE and all that uh, each and every day um, each morning you will get them uh, then all you need to do is join our uh, chat and trading room we still have the 14 days trials for one dollar only so uh, all you need to do is visit my site the link is in the description and um, just take that trial period and see for yourself cancel whenever you want thanks a lot guys see you next week bye bye